Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope for Tuesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you once again from St. Vincent Ferrer Priory in River Forest, Illinois. And today's first reading is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, the book of Jonah is an incredible story. It is a beautifully funny, really funny parody of all of the other prophets, that Jonah is this reluctant, uh, reluctant messenger of God who is sent and tries to run away, wants to avoid God's call, because God is sending him to his enemies. He's sending him off to Nineveh, the people who, you know, destroyed his people. Um, and he doesn't want to go. And then when he finally does go, he's not real happy that God is merciful. In fact, he's pretty angry about it. And then in today's reading, we get at what, if you were seeing it played out on the stage, would be just hysterically funny scene, where Jonah has gone through the city calling everyone to repent, and they do it so well that they make their animals repent in sackcloth and ashes. Their animals, all the farm animals, everything. Uh, I mean, just imagine for a second if, uh, you know, in place of a pet blessing this past weekend for St. Francis, if instead of that we had had a group mourning session where we all gathered together to mourn over the sins that we as Catholics have been a, a part of in this world, and we all brought our pets wearing sackcloth, and we all sat moaning in ashes and made our pets and all of our different livestock, you know, mourn too. Like, what a, what a ridiculous scene, right? But here's the point in it. Like, this is intended to call out Israel and say, look, God, God has been sending them prophet after prophet to call them back to justice and mercy, and they're not getting the message. But look at these Ninevites. Jonah walks through the city and boom, they do it immediately, right? This is a harsh message for us today, too, that we have to ask ourselves, you know, there's a lot of people that we disagree with in this world who sometimes see the reality of evils in the world and justice in the world better than we do. Uh, that sometimes we have to wake up and ask ourselves, you know, why, why aren't we more committed to some of these causes of justice? Why are we a little reluctant? What is it that we're missing? Uh, whether it's any issues within immigration, racism, troubles in the Middle East, global warming, any, any of these other concerns that, you know, the world beyond Catholicism seems to care a lot about, you know, maybe we ought to be a lot more invested with them. Sure, there's lots of other problems too, like we could go on and on about different injustices within our world, but the call remains the same. Why aren't we more troubled at times? Why aren't we more repentant for the ways that we have made the world worse? And perhaps then to see the hope in it of that God is merciful when we work to correct that, when we repent for our wrongdoing, when we acknowledge we have not always made the world better, and begin again to strive to do that. So I ask you once again, kind of the same as yesterday, but in a really different way, uh, you know, how are we called to be a part of that force for good in the world, to live at the service of others, and to hear that call of God to make the world one of justice and one of mercy and peace? Thank you, and God bless.